Do you ever come home and find your laptop or desktop suddenly was off or it had restarted and was just sitting there at the login screen? Well, that happened to me today and it's happened roughly a few times in the past month or two. And it was agitating to me and I was putting off researching it, wanted to dig into what was the problem. So today I noticed that, as you can see here on the screen, that I was 10 hours up and I had left it probably way longer than that, at least 20 hours on. So I knew it rebooted, you know, 10 hours earlier. So I went to Event Viewer and the culprit in question was Event uh, 7023, which right here you'll see was around 1139. At least one of them was then. And right So it says the game input services uh, terminated unexpectedly was one of them. And then 7023 here for the game input service terminated. And it says the file, the service was produced with a newer version of storage. That was the red flag. And so there's an easy fix for this that should resolve it. And I'm going to go ahead and just fix this machine so that you can see what's causing this. Essentially, you need to look at two locations to triple check and make sure that those are the two locations that you're going to confirm. We're going to go to services. So you type start run services.msc and inside of here, you're going to look for a game input service. There really should only be technically one. You right click, go to properties, and that'll show essentially the location of where one of them is. So you're going to copy that, paste it into Explorer and go there. You're going to do the same for the next location here. And there's one in the C program files x86. So you paste that in. Once you get there, you'll see these two folders. The first one here is in system 32. We can confirm that it's the right one. We'll do show more options and go to properties. And the properties here will go to details. And you'll notice that this is from 2024. And so that's nice and new. Then we'll go to this other one that was in program files x86. Right click it, go to properties, and also take a look at details. And you'll notice here this says 2023. So this is the culprit. This is way too old. It should not be on your machine. So to get rid of that, we'll need to not can't delete it here. What we'll do is we'll look inside of uh, start settings and go to apps and you'll get a list of apps and if you notice we should have this microsoft game input in here you can also at the very top do a global search if you'd like we'll go ahead and click the three dots here and hit uninstall and as you can tell this one actually says the same date in 2023 so we'll hit uninstall and rip it out. This is what it looks like when it's going away. All right, so it just kind of flies by and then disappears and it's gone. So here then we can get rid of installed apps. And you'll automatically notice here that this Microsoft Game Input X64 directory is long gone. So that's a good sign that that's gone. We still have this one. It is still untouched and functioning. So that's excellent. And then we are in good shape. We can then also triple check the services. We're going to go back in there just to see what occurred possibly right before a reboot. If we need to, we'll look and see how many are here. Okay. So as you can tell, we have the game input services now down from two to one of them and it'll be the system 32 one which is great and then you'll notice here this one is set to manual so we'll go ahead and you can actually do a reboot and then get back in here after you restart your machine switch this to automatic and hit apply and click start and then you should be good to go and then hopefully your machine will no longer reboot like it had been doing. I hope this helps a lot. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications and I hope you have a good one.